Today I'm going to teach my students about measurement, measurable characteristics. I'm going to use 10 cubes. These are called cubes. These cubes are from the biggest cube to the smallest cube. Normally I would ask my students to take the cubes off the shelf and place it on the rug next to me. This will give them a sense of touch, tactile feeling. They can touch the cube and investigate it. So that therefore they'll take it off the, cube, uh, the shelf. I'm going to tell my students we have 10 cubes here, the biggest cube and the smallest cube. I am also going to point out to them the contrast. This is our biggest cube and this is our smallest cube. You see friends, the biggest cube and the smallest cube. This is a light cube because it's smaller. This is a heavy cube because it's bigger. So my students understand the baric senses of the the, uh, the cube that is heavy in weight. We are going to now grade our cubes from the biggest to the smallest. So I have my big cube in front of me. So that is the big cube. I am going to look for the next big cube from the set. So which is my next big one? What is my next big cube? And I'm sure at this point you're wondering why I'm not having a running commentary on what I'm doing. Those children, they'd love to watch instead of listening to me. Their interest is to watch what I'm doing. So I'm grading from the largest to the smallest. And of course, this is my smallest cube. I'm also going to tell my students that there is one centimeter between each of my cubes. By using my littlest cube to do the measurement. So this is how my students get an idea of grading the largest to the smallest cube. I hope you learned something from this presentation, how we grade from the largest to the smallest.